What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Fruits Basket, this time with episode 11. Very excited to get into today's episode after we had a bit of an interesting episode last time about Sugar Ray, um, seeing kind of two sides to him, the kind of nice side, and then uh, this potentially kind of darker side to him where he's kind of using people for himself, um, being a bit selfish, which we've uh, seen in the series, it's not um, all too wrong, especially if you're someone like Toru, who uh, is very unselfish at pretty much all times. Um, it's okay to be selfish every now and then, but um, it seems like there's something maybe a little bit darker within Sugar Ray, so uh, I'd be interested to see what happens in the future future there. Um, I've heard that I won't be answered for a little while so I'll just kind of keep that in the back of my mind. Uh, a lot of fun moments last episode as well with it being Valentine's Day of course going to see the movies. Uh, Kagura joining us as well which was absolutely awesome. Um, again hoping for a little bit more fun in today's episode as well. Make sure you let me know what you guys think of this one though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these daily reactions. Let's get right into the episode guys. Three, two, one. Let's go guys. On exams. Nice. But that's the best option, isn't it? Just try and fill all of them, even if you don't really know the answer. Might get one by luck. Pretty much how I used to do everything. <laughs> I don't think I, at high school, I revised for one day. Which I regret, of course. Although I've never really been one to revise. Not that I've got a uh, photographic memory or anything, but I'm usually quite good at kind of taking in the information straight away. Unless it's something I'm interested in, which was a lot during school, so. Okay. I gotta say, I don't really see him as being too stupid. I know he's quite angry, but... <laughs> really? See, when I when I usually think of that, I usually see people suffering, trying to cram everything in. Hmm. What's that about? Extra hours. I wonder what the teacher said. For her to now want to work a little bit more. Did she not do well on the test or something? She said she'd done alright. She said she'd done better than last time. Yeah, I didn't really ever see Ko as this stupid character. Of course, he's a bit rash and... He put it pretty well. He's pretty competitive, but he's not very good at competitive things, is he? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, it's quite funny how that works, but... Yeah, I never really thought of him as stupid. Yeah, like I said, I didn't really do the best in school. Again, I do wish I would have tried a bit harder and maybe focused a little bit more. I was a bit of like a class clown, always getting sent out of class and such and acting up. And you know, pointless in the end. I was a bit of a maverick in that way. I was quite good at subjects, but didn't ever really seem to put any effort in. I end up failing quite a lot of them, just because, again, didn't look up any of the material and such. I think when you're at that age, everyone thinks they know what they're doing, don't they? I had a kind of whole kind of personality shift after school. Like crazy. Thinking about it, the person I was compared to now. I think that happens to everyone at some point, though. What is my Moji doing here cleaning? Hmm. 
Nice of him to help out with the cleaning. How can you hate this guy? He's not even overly hyper, is he? He's just really nice. Mamichi. Bad idea. White Day. Never heard of that one. <laughs> yeah, where did you think this place is? And it's a Soma hot spring as well, which sounds quite nice. I doubt it. Yeah. School trip deposits. Oh, I see. She's got to make a bit more money for that. I got a portray him like a shaking old man like that. <laughs> Look at that, I didn't ever really go on any school trips. Promised. That's why I picked one of the options I did at school. You got, you got options to pick from what subjects you take, and I picked history, medicine, history. So they promised me we were going to Egypt, <laughs> which never happened. And I absolutely sucked at that one. I cheated on a test for that and still failed. I was late for the test, so they made me take it in a uh, in an office room with my phone. And like I said, I still failed. That's just how she is, isn't it? I do agree with him though. She will lose out on her kind of personal life if she keeps doing stuff like this. Although it, it kind of also adds to her personal life, I guess, in a way. Makes her even more kind of whole inside, I guess. The most idiotic traveler in the world. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, that's that's actually a reasonably tame title for a anime nowadays, isn't it? See, I think giving happiness to others is one of the best things you can do in your life. Because eventually you'll be gone. Especially if something behind, isn't it? Wow. Huh, what a giver. That bit of toilet paper. 
I was actually thinking you might actually give her a body or something. Yeah, a bit, a bit disgusting when <laughs> you think about it. Just this chopped off head, no eyes. And a bit gross, could be could be used in a horror movie, but ended up being used in a romance show. It worked pretty well. That does remind us of someone, doesn't it? <laughs> I think everyone gets that feeling around this table. It is almost a bit like what's going on now, but again, we're not really sure how she's getting swindled by Shigure and Akito and such. She's a gift in and of herself. That was a great little story from Emoji, wasn't it? Of course you will. It really is a gift, isn't she? Oh man. Some seriousness from Kyo. Right, until Momoji comes in. We'll just have a moment then as well. Oh yeah, this will be a fun trip. She's had a few moments like that with Kyo now, hasn't she? Which is interesting. Not not as many uh, with uh, with Yuki. I mean, she's had a few with Yuki as well, of course, but... I don't know. Is this the uh, the owner? Oh my god. Reprived in this. What's wrong with this woman? Why is that then? Yeah, I can imagine she does. Well, who else are you going to be? There's only Momoji left. Yeah, the only person he would get along with is Toru. <laughs> this guy's really reminded me of something out of one of the Gintar episodes, man. Is 
Na like what? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Gear, isn't she? But yeah, like I was saying, I, I, funny how Kyo doesn't really get along with anyone here except for Toru. Which is unfortunate for him. It was a little gift. <laughs> Even worse. I wonder what that little present was from Yugi. Is that for uh, Toru, maybe? Oh, wow. She even bought a waterproof bag for her mum. That monkey. So she isn't one. Or look out for a little monkey. So you can't tell us about him. <laughs> How does he keep just missing? A little two on two, that would be pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna go one v one. So he is going easy on her. Oh wow, <laughs> a little bit too early, just a bit. When son then John. I really love to know German just so I can understand a little bit of what he's saying sometimes. Although I think I get the gist of it every now and then. He's laughing at. That was a fucking terrible swing, wasn't it? I gotta feel like you gotta hide that, bro. Oh, 
Pois há. Ah. Earth Trap thing. <coughs> oh. The ribbon. Princess. <laughs> oh dear. So surely Kyo's gonna be a little bit pissed off that he got her that. Hopefully he won't find out that Yuki's the one that got her for her. That was a lovely trip, wasn't it? Again, a moment with Yuki this episode as well. This girl gonna be okay on her own. High school. Haru as well. So they're both going to be joining? Oh god. Oh really? No way. I always thought it was like <laughs> 10. Wow. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a few more kind of lively uh, patrons at school. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good... Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, I think this is just for his fantasies, it seems. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that should be pretty awesome, having two more Tomas uh, at the school. Fun ones as well. Shane Kager is not joining. She seems like the only one kind of left out. But yeah, I love Momoji, so that should be awesome for him joining. As well as seeing a little bit more of Haru as well. Yeah, I'm surprised he got him with his hair as well. Like I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, I thought they were real strict about that stuff. Obviously, it's anime, so you can kind of change the rules and such, but... I just found it fascinating how far they take that stuff. Of course, there's rules like that in the UK as well about hair. Um, kind of a lot less, kind of actually, uh, what's it called? Pen on pad or whatever. It's not really any actual kind of written rules about it, I don't think. But if you come in with like a red mohawk or something, I don't think they're going to let you in or anything crazy like that. But it's... Um, and it's not like actual rules, I think it's just like the headmaster's references. I always find the American schools so interesting as well. They don't have any uniform or anything. Like, I think the UK is a bit of kind of half and half between American and Japanese schools. Looks like you're having fun. We have, uh, we are in the UK, we have like. Because I know a lot of my viewers aren't from the UK. Um, we have like school uniforms and such, and uh, school shoes. And again, we've got to keep our hair in a not in, not as much as um, not as many rules and such as there is in Japan, but uh, definitely not as kind of liberal as it is in America. Where uh, I see a lot, me anyway, I see a lot of American schools. Um, they can wear whatever they like, and uh, there's a whole thing in American schools about people uh, if they're wearing something um, kind of cheap or if they're wearing something expensive. There's a whole kind of um, 
social system about that and such in American schools, which I think is a bit of a um, bit of a shame. Again, especially for the people that are less uh, less rich or uh, the poor people or the people that live in poverty. Poverty, because I think that is the kind of uh, way they kind of used to bully people over there and such and don't get me wrong that happens in the uk as well um but i think it probably happens a bit more because it's so visible to the students and it's in their direct kind of sight uh, so it's a little bit more easy to pick up on and then uh, act upon that but again that happens in the uk as well don't get me wrong but yeah awesome episode today I'll, I'll leave whatever that was i was talking about the seriousness but yeah it was a great episode today at the uh, at the hot springs again love the moments between um both toru and yuki and toru and kyo today um again it kind of seems like they're getting like kind of even moments with her um kind of seems like again they are both in love with her given her presence and such and just appreciating her kind of uh presence in general the story from emoji was um pretty much toru in a in ace and spades wasn't it? it was a really awesome story um again i love how they do these kind of stories within an episode and they're all so fleshed out and so well done i um, mean and, and down to the details they're just again just so well done absolutely loved it um again really enjoyed that story and really enjoyed this episode in general and it's great news that we're going to have two more somers join the school uh make sure you let me know if you guys what this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video and subscribe the channel if you want to keep up to date with these daily reactions i will be back tomorrow with episode 12 so look forward to that one guys and enjoy the rest of your day